Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Joining me this afternoon is Haley. She's one of our summertime staff, program coordinator, or uh, insert blank here, uh, helping out with the Fitchburg Recreation Department. Haley, welcome to the show. It's kind of it's interesting because we, we have uh, your position on at the end of the summer when we really should probably talk to you at the beginning of the summer because you're just about to wrap up and and we're meeting you for the first time. So hi and bye is what I'm <laughs> trying to say. Uh, we're uh, we're going to talk about packing the park today, uh, but uh, but before we do that, um, take us back through the summer. Uh, what uh, what have uh, what have you guys been doing all summer? Uh, you and the rest of the uh, summertime uh, staff. So we've had a bunch of camps going on. So we have a morning camp, which is for younger kids. It's about two hours in the morning, and then we have a nice lunch break, and then we have our three hour afternoon camp for the older kids. Um, also on Tuesdays and Thursday mornings, we have Pee Wee Sports. So this year we've had soccer and we've had um, baseball. So how was the attendance all summer long uh, for the for the programs? And and I know it varies, but uh, how how did that that work out? Attendance has actually been really good. Um, the only bad attendance I guess we had is when it was like a rainy day, but it makes sense. <laughs> that uh, yeah, that does uh, hold it up. How about new programs this year? What were some of the new programs that uh, were offered during the summer? Um, so we had some new themes this year. So we had, um, for example, we had Spy School. Uh, we had 28 kids at that camp, so um, we had the police department come out and shelf a police car. Um, we had a lot of kids, so we did Invisible Ink and cool stuff like that. <laughs> what was your favorite one? <laughs> um, my favorite one, oh, we also had a Science Week, and so that was my favorite week because we did cool experiments like um, making rain clouds and rainbows, and then we also did um, like bubbles, so we had kids in a giant bubble. Really? Mm-hmm. How do, you, how do you get kids in a giant bubble? So you fill a kiddie pool with soap and water, and you put a hula hoop in it, and then you can just pull the hula hoop up, and then they're in a bubble. So they have to stand in the... the yeah. The, yeah. They like that, then. I'm they sure. do like any anyway, that's for sure. <laughs> um, uh, if you were to tell parents that have never put their kids into the, the summer program, what would you tell them? Um, for the younger kids, it's a really great starter for getting ready for classrooms, because you have like, like 15 kids in that morning group, so it's pretty similar to what your classroom will be like. Um, and then for the older kids, it's a really great way to make friends that are in the local community. And you might even see some of them at your school in the classroom. Good team building as well, uh, yeah. I think, throughout. Yeah, sometimes we split into smaller groups, so you get um, those groups get really close with the other kids. Because sometimes we have like 25 kids, so you split into like smaller groups of five. And then sometimes we have group activities, so it's a good way to learn how to work with everybody in your group. Wow. Well, I'm glad you guys had another successful year on that front. And to close out the year uh, tradition here in the city of Fitchburg uh, is Pack in the Park. Uh, Pack in the Park happens this Friday. It's Friday, uh, August 9th, uh, down at McKee Farms Park. And uh, tell us a little bit about this event. So Pack in the Park is uh, it's this Friday, as you said, <laughs> um, from 6 to 8. And we have a bunch of carnival games. We have about 15 games that range from anything from doing sports, like um, soccer shootout. And then we also have games like Plinko that's more strategized. And then we have games that are just pure luck, like Pick a Duck, where you pick a duck and get tickets. <laughs> My daughter loved the Pick a, pick a Duck last year. Mm -hmm. Hard to get her away from that one. Yeah. Um, also <laughs> hard to give her, or for her to give them back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is tough. But uh, yeah, so uh, you have uh, lots of volunteers come out for this. Uh, mm -hmm. All the summer staff are out there as well. Um, uh, and then what else, uh, what else can we do besides the carnival games? We also have a bunch of bounce houses. So we have a bounce house where kids can go bounce around forever. And then we also have, um, an inflatable obstacle course. So that's always a big hit too. And then once the kids win their prizes, um, you can get tickets by playing all the games. You can go to the prize tent and you can get some prizes. We have some really cool prizes this year, like fidget spinners. I was going to say, like, I was looking at the prize table, uh, which uh, so was my daughter last year, and we <laughs> were, like, uh, just amazed on uh, how many uh, prizes you have out there. Mm -hmm. uh, fun. Uh, there is uh, food and uh, beverage for purchase out there, uh, so if you're thinking about making it a whole night, you certainly can do that uh, while you're out there. Uh, and then to close off the evening at about 8.15 or uh, whenever that sun gets a little bit farther down, uh, we got an outdoor movie. So if you haven't been out there, it's a great time. Your first one, right? Yeah, my first one. First and last. <laughs> Again, <laughs> it's like you start and then, and then you're done. So, uh, so yeah, Pack in the Park this Friday, August 9th. Come on out, 6 to 10 p.m. at McKee Farms Park. 
so many things to do at the park just to begin with, but then they add in all these fun activities. Um, and, uh, yeah, come say hi to Haley. Uh, thank all the staff out there, and uh, we'll be out there uh, as well. I think I'm actually pulled the uh, the short straw, I mean the big straw to go out <laughs> and, uh, and, and film this one, so I'm sure I'll see you out there. We'll probably be interviewing you again. Okay. Are you ready for that? I'm ready. <laughs> all right, fantastic. Well, Haley, thank you so much for stopping in. Nice to meet you, and you know we'd love to have you come back to the city if you, if you can do so so she's studying hard as a student uh, in iowa so she's she's going to be way over my uh intelligence and pay grade, all that in the future so all right we'll, we'll wrap it up there so she doesn't have to sit here and be embarrassed uh we'll take a quick break you are watching talking fitchburg